In this series, I will be showing you how you can create something like this. This was done using as minimalistic pieces as possible and using critical techniques that will help you create your best roller coaster creations. In today's episode, we will be looking at Spinal Track, the key aspect behind in which all roller coaster models are made. So stay tuned. For those of you who don't know what Spinal Track is, Spinal Track is basically the stuff that supports the actual track which the train will run on. It is very important in a model form and in real life. So I want to show you how to build it in Kinex. Okay then guys, Spinal Track is basically made up of lots of spinal pieces and I'll be showing you how to make one right now. What you're going to need is you're going to need two orange rods like this, either two red pieces like this, everything's micro by the way guys, two grey pieces like this which I prefer better however I'll tell you about that later, two yellow rods and two little connectors like this, the ones at 90 degrees. Put together the pieces make up this. Now this is a very important piece however I've added a little bit on these two blue rods are crucial to how you are going to make this model roller coaster spinal track because when you add another piece of track with spinal track on it, you're going to want to connect them. So these purple rods here are oh <laughs> I broke it are extremely, extremely crucial to helping you succeed in building a model roller coaster. However, we're not done with Spinal Track. Spinal Track can also be used in another way, and that's to form inclines and also inversions. Here's a piece I've got for you now. This is an example of a 45 degree turn in Spinal Track. As you can see here, I have used these blue pieces, which are the equivalent of these, but I was running out of them, so I just converted them to these pieces here. And what this does is this enables the track to move from a straight line up. Now in retrospect, this would be used in, a, in an inversion or at a turn like this guys. And yes, it works very well. There is also another way to do spinal method, which is a method I will show to you now. The second spinal method is used using these flexi rods. Yes, these rods can be molded into any direction you want and they will fling back, well, most of the time, after a little while, to a, an original straight piece. Now these are meant to imitate, this is normally grey by the way, the longest macro track, which is grey. I mean it doesn't come up very well on camera but hopefully you can see it, that it does exist and it's right there. Now this method of spinal track can be used using any of the three pieces you have these pieces, this will not be broken on your actual one, sorry about that guys, so that will be another rod there. These pieces, which convert micro to macro, same as that one, just in another way. And the red one, which is a miniature version of the green piece here. Now what you can do with either one of these pieces, is add one of these pieces on here, onto, oh sorry, just let me get this right guys onto the flexi rod, add on the piece, just like this. Now as you can see, the track now has spinal track and it will help its structure and its weight and force coming down on it when the train rolls by and it will help support it, however you will have to repeat this set of pieces here or combined with these pieces, or well, these pieces as stated earlier, you won't need the yellow 90 degree piece if that's the case. Um, I advise around two each flexi rod. If you're doing inversions, then I highly advise three, or if you're doing a drop, because that's where a lot of the roller coaster's force is going to be exerted. So, I hope this video has helped, guys, and 
If you want to learn more on how to make a Kinex roller coaster, why not check out some of my other videos that I'm making regarding this topic. So, I hope you've enjoyed today's video, hope I've been helpful, and I'll see you all in the next one.